No free man shall ever be debarred the use of arms. Cultivators of the earth are the most valuable citizens. They are the most vigorous, the most independent, the most virtuous, and they are tied to their country and wedded to its liberty and interests by the most lasting bonds. While the art of printing is left to us science can never be retrograde, what is once acquired of real knowledge can never be lost. Resolved, that it would be a dangerous delusion were a confidence in the men of our choice to silence our fears for the safety of our rights, that confidence is everywhere the parent of despotism, free government is founded in jealousy, and not in confidence. As we advance in life these things fall off one by one, and I suspect we are left with only Homer and Virgil, perhaps with only Homer alone. A prince, whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a tyrant, is unfit to be the ruler of a free people. And can the liberties of a nation be thought secure when we have removed their only firm basis, a conviction in the minds of the people that these liberties are the gift of God? That they are not to be violated but with his wrath? Indeed, I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just that his justice cannot sleep forever. All tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent. Delay is preferable to error. A man's management of his own purse speaks volumes about character. I am savage enough to prefer the woods, the wilds, and the independence of Monticello, to all the brilliant pleasures of this gay capital, Paris. No people who are ignorant can be truly free. The most fortunate of us, in our journey through life, frequently meet with calamities and misfortunes which may greatly afflict us, and, to fortify our minds against the attacks of these calamities and misfortunes should be one of the principal studies and endeavors of our lives. The only method of doing this is to assume a perfect resignation to the divine will, to consider that whatever does happen, must happen, and that, by our uneasiness, we cannot prevent the blow before it does fall. But we may add to its force after it has fallen. These considerations, and others such as these, may enable us in some measure to surmount the difficulties thrown in our way, to bear up with a tolerable degree of patience under the burden of life, and to proceed with a pious and unshaken resignation, till we arrive at our journey's end. As new discoveries are made, new truths discovered and manners and opinions change with the change of circumstances, institutions must advance also to keep pace with the times.